Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a track ride at Road Atlanta in the Porsche GT3 car. If you do enjoy this guide, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. With that said, let's get straight on with the guide. Turn 1 I break just after the grass ends on the left. On the entry you can use some of the road on the left to open up the corner. I begin to turn in where the grass starts again and trail off the brake very quickly. I get back on throttle just before the apex. I prefer to use 4th gear here opposed to 5th as it gives you slightly more rotation. This corner is very difficult as the entry is blind. I brake just before the kerb on the left and use 3rd gear. I turn in the end of this kerb and use all of the kerb on the inside. I trail brake to the apex and get back on throttle just after to keep the car stable. For the next left I stay off the kerb as it can unsettle the car and then the next two corners should be flat. I turn in just before the kerb starts and it's important to have smooth steering here to not lose too much speed. This is another very difficult corner in GT3 cars. I brake just before the kerb on the right and use it to open up the corner. I use third gear and trail brake a lot as the car is very understeery here. I gradually come back on throttle just before the inside kerb and use all of the kerb on the exit. The exit kerb can be slightly inconsistent and unsettled with the car so be careful going through here. Here I brake at the first of three white lines on the floor. My peak brake pressure is around 90% and I trail off very quickly. I aim for a late apex and get back on throttle just after this. While practicing I found that the rear end is very loose through here. For the hairpin I brake as the car straightens up and use second gear. I take a late apex avoiding the inside kerb and get back on throttle gradually to keep the rear stable. For the final chicane I brake just before the 100 meter board. My peak brake pressure is around 90% and I use second gear. For the first part of the chicane you can use some of the grass on the inside. This helps to settle for the next turn. I lift slightly and take all of the kerb on the inside, letting the car drift out using all of the exit kerb as well. I then take a short line and the final corner should be flat out. That's all for this guide, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you found it helpful, and I'll catch you guys next time, goodbye.